So then we are back with a more understanding from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshiahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the Aurum feast announced the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid the waste for many centuries. As we read then Yerushiahu the prophet, we must understand Yerushiahu was murdered by the very leaders of Israel and the prophets were destroyed because they did not speak conveniences during the time of Israel. So based from these murdered people we then gathered some information regarding what's coming in the future. As we can understand from what's going on in the world, the Prime Minister of Israel has re-elected himself. And sure enough, a few days later, the Secretary of State of the United States is then forcing Iran to do actions regarding then the gathering up of these nuclear materials for generation of electricity. So then, the next step, as it was explained before, obviously Israel is going to provoke the Palestinians, and then the United States is going to give more money to Israel then to spend in war and in stupidity. And we then, as we are watching the news, you can only piece these situations and then you can understand what it means then Daniel the 11th chapter. Now as far as we can understand from the prophets, the Creator, the Eternal, the holiest being of this universe, He is not in favor of any kind of nation or on behalf of any nation except the holy instructions given via those murdered prophets. As we can understand from Daniel the 11th chapter, there are some understandings as far as the system and then the abomination that makes desolate or the reflection thereof. And we then understand why then United States and Israel, then Gog and Magog, are then obviously organizing themselves and then unfolds in Revelation what then Yahanan or then John saw the false belief of Israel being the very last nation of becoming then part of the restoration period because Israel as the Creator himself has said they are a nation of contrary people a nation who do not listen to what the prophets have said. They are continuing on with their humdrum religious repetitions and so on and so forth. And when a person comes from a word of the very prophets they destroyed, yet they reject and not only this, they continue on doing what is wrong. The Messiah was right. And as we read then the instructions, let's then understand the 11th chapter of Daniel, verses 8 and 9, because it is extremely important. Uh, the uh, sons of Ishmael gathering up in Egypt, and not only the Iranians are, obviously from the descendancy of Ishmael, in great portion of them, then we understand the importance of the Islamic State gathering up their forces and joining up in Egypt. Now, from the regular view of this understanding, at this point in time, nations are in a such a way, reading from the instructions and understanding from these nations is nearly... impossible 
to believe that these nations are going to gather up. Not only they are gathering up in Egypt, but then they are marching south and organizing then the northern section of Africa until they reach areas of beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. The prophet Yerushiahu was very precise in what he was saying. And unfortunately many of the documents then dictated by Yerushiahu the prophet via the Holy Creator himself, they were destroyed, burned and thrown out because of the ignorance of Israel. And we have only fragmentary pieces, but we understand because Yerushiahu and Daniel are hand to hand as far as we read the holy instructions and if we understand the economies of the world and tabernacling then we understand what's coming and quite frankly the creator is not interested if you like it his instructions or don't because himself he already gave the holy instructions and nations should lined up with it if they don't line up with it then they themselves they get in a path where then destruction is certain Daniel the prophet he was obviously a prophet because he spoke of tabernacling that's the only reason why he is considered a prophet then as we understand Egypt from verses 8 and 9 and then later on speaks also of the Soviet Union or the Northern Kingdom and many areas related with the economies of the world understandably Daniel was then the minister of finances of many kings at least the king of Babylon then you find in the middle Persians you find them Belshazzar and these kings maintained Daniel as the minister of economy he was dealing with many nations and many kinds of monetary systems and notes and so on and so forth and he knew what he was doing then in the future would be obviously a situation of much faster pace but linked with what he was teaching so then because of these there are people when they read for instance what went on in the Ozarks in the United States sometimes they get a bit surprised that they have a built a place over there or what they consider as the new capital of the United States if there is some sort of confrontation or some sort of uh, civil war in the country also they have built the city with the 12 gates and not only this but they thought themselves as having some sort of a holy city of their own so for some reason they have some sort of a linkage with their own description of the Bible but the truth of the situation is tabernacling is on the land of Cush it's far away from the United States and it's in Africa So then, the United States is thinking that they're going to govern the world from underground. And not knowingly, the Chinese are obviously leading the world's market and the world market is becoming online. So understandably, because of a silver war or some sort of a conflict United States and it's understandable of having another kind of capital but truly whatsoever they have built on the Ozarks was of no use so a lot of money was involved and spent in this project and quite frankly China leads the market and the online system is becoming even more prominent because the new system is coming very fastly. And the most important point at this time is then gathering up uh, taxes. So 
So then, the Creator has made a such a plan, explained in the 23rd chapter of Yirshiahu the Prophet, that He is taking the leadership of the hands of the leaders of nations, and He is making a contempt with it. He is showing them that He is the very own Creator of heaven and the earth, and not only this, He decided of having the entire situation given to the freighters and then the freighters depending upon the people behind their keyboards. Making investments and purchasing and buying and gifting and so on and so forth. So nations are trying desperately to get a grasp where they are at such as for instance the Eurozone has failed because they are printing a lot of euros because they couldn't hold the economy as Daniel was explaining then that the nations of the end of time they would try to adhere to each other but then they would not what Daniel was explaining was a mixture of economical plan and then religious plan mixed up together and for a thousand years it didn't work so then trade is becoming very separated from the world and religion or then tabernacling if you consider religion tabernacling because it's based on facts more than religion and then you find yourself in the midst of a decision where then either you go with what the Creator has said via his prophets that were rejected and destroyed and, and murdered or you can go along with the world and be destroyed with it later on So then Yerushiah the prophet, he was not playing when he was explaining. The system is truly becoming online and purchases and transfers of many kinds of monetary systems are going to be made. And if laws and instructions and limits are not posted in the internet, people are going to have 12, 24 digits of profits in the system and they won't be paying taxes and because the freighters are going to be the very people who are then in charge of the leadership of the world then the governments are going to become so minute and then they won't be able to gather up taxes and they can't print a lot of money because they have to justify because the system is very precise as the new system is becoming more evident, then nations are becoming more online and the more money they print, they have to give an understanding where this money is going. And they can print money at any time as they want because the system must provide what the nation is earning as far as taxes. They have to have earnings, and these earnings are coming from taxes from the products sold online. So what these nations are going to do, it truly it's their problem. They have to deal with it and read the holy instructions and come up with a system based from the freighters and then come up with some sort of a percentages of transfers so then governments can maintain their own machines going because truly they are bankrupt because they are incompetent then it mounts even more the stupidity of their own actions so then next time I'm going to evaluate this more because Great Britain is doing a very unique situation of adopting the Bitcoin and regulating it because it's extremely important because as Israel then is provoking war with Iran and provoking war with the Palestinians more than they should because they are not working on their economy as they should have and they are only thinking of war and skirmishes and then picking up fights and then this and then the other because it has to have more money for security and because of the borders and because of this they are enticing security problems where 
many places that simply do not exist. And the United States obviously is going to give more money to Israel and then to cover up the hole, then they're going to raise up the cost of price of using the USD exchange. Thus then the Bitcoin is a great deal because then people who have factories they have at least an alternative other than using these highly manipulated monetary market. Next time we're going to evaluate more of these based from Revelation, from Daniel and from Yeshiahu. So please stay tuned, much more coming up.